I'm just about to join the Morning Mindset Show. Make sure you watch this show and learn. Take some notes. Stay with us. Hurry, but right now it is 8 a.m. Eastern time, which means it's time for the Full Circle Morning Mindset Daily Prime with Arif Galani and Sherry Owner. Sherry, over to you. It takes me way too long to unmute myself. <laughs> it's, like <an> <laughs> it's like I'm going unmute, unmute. <laughs> Welcome everybody, Rod. Thank you so much. Um, we have a great topic this morning. We're talking about communication and projection. Um, and Arif Galani is our fearless leader who is taking us through this topic. So Arif, welcome again. Um, and thank you for your ever consistent presence in our in our morning morning mindset podcast here. Yeah, yeah. He's having the same issues as me. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here on her on mute. Uh, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Sherry. Thank you, Dora. Thank you for. This morning, it's Thursday morning, and uh, we had chosen this topic of communication and projections, and you're thinking, what's the relationship between communication and projections? Well, let me just read up from my notes here. It says, we all have a dream. We all have goals. We all have ambitions that we want to perform, make them real, right? Every single person sitting in this school and i do expect a higher level of understanding and communication with my community with people on my social media because we so send out so much posters and positive thinking and you may even get confused of how to monetize how to realize how to make this happen you know in the beginning there was word and the word was god so if you're a believer you got to put it in words everything that's in your mind and you put it in words and you communicate it when you put it in paper then you can make real projections on what you want to accomplish sherry thank you for that wonderful introduction but they say that wisdom is not wisdom when it's only delivered in books we gotta perform it we gotta videotape it we gotta broadcast it we gotta communicate our intentions to the world Starting with our families, with the people who are in our lives, if we're in a relationship and we're not in harmony and communication, and then from there it extends to a team of people. Again, yesterday we talked about hierarchy of need. Contribution only comes through other people's collaboration and cooperation. Right now we've got a wonderful community. Sherry is directing our actions. Rod is enthusiastic about it 24-7. I'm making adjustments to all of my plans to make this the pinnacle of every single communication that I do through the day. Because if you get the morning right, the rest, Sherry, will follow. Yes, yes. How, do we, get the, how do we get the morning right, Sherry? Help me out here. I think we're do we're that's exactly what we're doing. We're getting the morning right with people. I'd be interested to know though with with communication and projection, what does that physically look like for this group of spiritual entrepreneurs? Very, if, if I was following them with a clipboard and a note and pen, what does that communication and projection look like? Excellent question, Sherry. As usual, you you ask some questions that most people wouldn't ask. How does it look look for every person? First of all, if you're a business, you got to get really good at that, no matter what you do. If you're Sherry, if you're Rod, if you're Maria, if you're Arif, if you're anybody, you got to be expert in your business to be able to communicate it properly. See, I know real estate. I know so many of my friends are real estate. They always tell me, Arif, you'd be a natural in real estate. Come and sell real estate. You'd make millions of dollars. I love real estate, but that's not my passion. <laughs> you know, that's not where I know that I can be a genius at. My genius is in, in my positivity and control over my mind because I believe God has given the power to every single one of us to have total and absolute control over our mind. Mm. Now, on a daily basis, right, I go through people and I interview them because my note and notepad and paper, you know, is with me all the time. 
Always have a book. Either one wonderful book to read or one wonderful to write. So if you haven't written a book, the first sentence starts with, I. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> right? So I want you to do an assignment today. Empty your business plan, your elevator pitch, or whatever. You can type it into the notes here, or you can write it on this piece of paper. Sherry will be able to send you these notes. I want you to write it down. We talked about the writing down very clearly. So Sherry, what does it look like? For me, I can only talk from experience, right? I have a goal, I have a plan. I sent my business plan to a very uh, expert financial advisor and also sent it to Leon, who's not here today. Both of them read it and said, wow, excellent. If anybody, Sherry, if you're interested, if Rod's interested in knowing the three, five year, 10 year plan, I will send it to you. You can read it just for your own knowledge. Because we're, I will send it to you because we are now a team. And if I'm not communicating my personal, my business and my projections of the future, how can we move in the same direction? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want Rod to clearly write it down. What's the idea of full circle community in a sentence? So I can tell it in an elevator page. You know, people tell me, what do you do? Well, I host a morning mindset podcast. I have a business. I'm an author. I am a speaker. I am just a giver. I want to serve those who are in depression, who are in loneliness. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, my dear colleagues, the only reason you are feeling, you know, depressed, down, disappointed, and without hope is because you're alone. They said that, you know, the, the, the number one, one only belongs to God. There's only one unit that cannot be separated or divided or anything like that. Everything else is in unity. The power, the energy, the, the you know, inspiration of religion all comes from one unit of energy. And it's one God. And it's whether you call it whatever you call it, it's the source. Okay. So we need to find our own source. What gives you power? What gives you imagination? What gives you these ideas? And write those ideas down, please. I cannot emphasize enough on writing the ideas down. Then you're communicating projections. So in the business plan, and the business plan is a great place for people to start actually uh, to project the future. Because I have made a three year, five year and 10 year plan. I took it to Scotiabank. I said, this is my business plan. What do you think? All of the gurus gathered, big conference room, five, six of them. He says, what? This is a very unique idea. Excellent idea. I'm not telling you the idea. I'm just describing how they assessed my communication, my projections. So let's break it down to life, to today, Sherry, if you will. How do we communicate today? If Are you making a phone call to a client? Are you going prospecting? Are you recruiting somebody? Are you serving a client? How do, commun how do you communicate your services? How do you communicate your, your own self to these people so they can trust you? Because the first word in any business is trust. I feel like right now, I haven't met Sherry in person, but I can fully trust Sherry. Why? Because of result of last two, three weeks of communication. I can trust Rod. Because I have like, communication to 10 years of communication with Rod. Doesn't mean that everything has been up, 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 going up like a stair. There's been a lot of ups and downs. But because you establish trust. Carol, welcome. Looking great on camera. And we're looking forward to bringing more of our American friends online. Because... Again, proximity. <laughs> Rod talks about this all this all the time. We have some geniuses in Canada who have been imported or exported to America. We're holding this fort here. We're gonna build it right from Toronto, expand over America and anywhere else. So if you feel like this information is helping you, I'm asking you to practice it and then to share it. Okay? Mike looking good. So in the practices of this, this session, last few sessions, we have talked about a few things and I want to uh, recognize Rod for actually putting it in practice. One was goal setting. We all need to goal set. We will have an amazing goal setting session before the year end. 
This is gonna be a powerhouse goal setting. Whether you're just a starter, new immigrant, student, high school student, old grandma, everybody needs a goal, okay? We're gonna do this before Christmas, okay? Just like we used to do, right? Number two is resources. What resources do we provide for you? We provide community, we provide safety, we provide all the things. I'm communicating the resources and the, the things that we will, yes, money, opportunity. Man, so many people right now, I have a couple of friends going to work and telling me I'm taking an hour and a half to go be an office clerk. I said, do you do anything on the side? By the time I get home, I'm so tired. I just want to have a coffee and sleep or tea or juice or food. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's 8 billion people on this planet. Everybody's got some desires inside their heart. Only the ones who committed to paper in the term of a goal and have the resources to achieve them. Yesterday, Rod has a great milestone. 10 o'clock p.m. This guy is relentless. He doesn't give up. He wants to have a Zoom call at 10 p.m. to celebrate the 100th episode of this wonderful, wonderful community that he's building. Okay? Believes. Marie, yes, ma'am. Do you mind if I interject here for a moment? Do because free any time. You, you, you've laid a lot of um, golden nuggets down here, and I just want to make sure we're anchoring them in. Break it down. Who's listening? I'm hearing you say because everybody, this isn't scripted. I'm hearing Arif talk about these things for the first time as you are, and I'm listening with the ears and the filter of an entrepreneur. So, Arif, what I'm hearing you say is that the communication part is speaking your business and your vision into existence through a business plan through communicating with your clients through all of that and then through our methods and means of communicating we are projecting our vision into existence Is, am i picking up what you're saying you just hit it on the nail i couldn't put any better words again i'm very enthusiastic like rod is and we sometimes blab over words we stumble over words yeah rod i would love to know if when we go on the road, Sherry just comes and we just do our thing. And then she goes, so what Arif and Rod were saying? <laughs> <laughs> what they what he mean? meant was, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what I mean. Entrepreneurship. Let me tell you what I mean. There's no script to be an entrepreneur. There's no script to be a businessman. There's no script. And there's millions of books on how to fix anything, including your health. This is Dr. Shamsi Crandall. I called his office. I said, I, I love to see your book. And he says, oh, here's the link, send it. I said, can I use it in my communication, my company's you know, research? Said, Absolutely, just show my name, show my book, here I am, okay? There are books on everything, except, except on how to control your mind. You have ideas, you wanna commit them to paper in terms of a sentence, a business yep. plan, and you projecting this, how you're learning your business, how do you develop a vision? So I'm going through a lot of things. How do you develop a vision? Yes. Arif, I see this a lot. And this is why I think what you're saying is so important because I've, I've worked side by side with one of the best coaches in all of Canada. And I've also talked to a lot of new entrepreneurs. They, they are so passionate about what they're doing and what they bring to the world and their new business. And they just assume that everybody sees their vision and sees the need. And I'm telling you, 3% of the population understands it the way you do. And if you only sell to those 3% and communicate to those 3%, you are broke. So the fact that you do need to distill that into some communication and not just assume that I believe it, therefore, therefore I will manifest it, that is an important ingredient but Arif, we need the we need the practicality of having it down, communicated, business plan, talk to your audience, all of that before anything comes into existence. Absolutely, Sherry. You you beautify it, you clarify it, you really yeah. lay it down, Sherry. I really appreciate your contribution to this show, to our lives, to the community. See, I had I dedicated one sing one whole chapter to communication, Rod. You're coming to that soon if you've been yeah. you know through this. And it says that the proper use of language has godlike powers. Okay? What did God do? God created. 
Can you create images in somebody's head by the words mm -hmm. that you use? Yeah. If I told you to close your eyes, think you're on the beach in Mexico in the Atlantic and there's a nice beautiful breeze coming through and your toes are filled with soft sand and the ocean breezes. Could you imagine that in your mind? I can taste the pina colada. <laughs> I did this so I can vividly describe it, but you can do that with things that you have not done. For example, right. your business plan, for example, your vision. When we get into it again, Rod had this originally as a recruitment podcast or for network marketing podcast. When we get excited about a business and I did this and we go out there with this filter of fire and like a rocket, but our head is not clear. Imagine the rocket is going up in the moon and it doesn't know which direction am I going. Going to the moon, going to the Mars, going everywhere. A new person in business just like that rocket. Yes, Ryan. That's a great point, or even what, 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 what he's referring to, for those of you listening or catching this on a replay, uh, and I'm glad Carol's here to hear this, that the idea of effortless recruiting was actually launched in Carol's basement previous business uh, the curiosity shop and it was an antique I think someone mentioned something about antiques this morning and uh, Carol had a shop and Reed in her basement there was a whiteboard and I had a few friends down there and we were crafting out six modules of a course we were going to call effortless recruiting that was in 2019 and it was a reef that pivoted Cherry the, the language because of branding he said no the word recruiting nobody wants to be recruited no one wants to recruit anyone and that's what I always said. Everybody, but everybody wants to be enrolled in something, in a vision that can close the gap between where they are and where they want to be. And I said, this is connections. Arif says effortless connections. And here we are, three weeks in. Arif, back to you. It's, it's a full circle, right? It goes back to the same spot with giving somebody an opportunity to express themselves, to be the best they can be in a way that they can make money or a profit from this communication okay if i put it in buddha's words sherry and maybe you can help me read that beautiful poem at the end of our notes because i really love poems poems are a way that somebody feels has anybody felt this much pain as i do and then they start writing it down and it turns something beautiful like shakespeare or somebody who says man i am so in love does anybody feel the way i do and then he put down a love poem. And a business is the same way. Okay, you got to put it down with passion. And Buddha said, and I'm done with this, Rod. We're early. We're going to have a little bit of QA. If you want to, Sherry, I want you to go ahead and conduct the rest. But I want to, you know, end this session with Buddha. Because go ahead, Rod, if you like. No, no, go ahead. I just, when you're it done, says, go ahead. Buddha said that we are what we think we are. Okay. So who are you communicating to yourself every single morning? When does it start? This was the beginning of the show, Sherry. And then the day starts the night before, okay? My day started today, it started yesterday. I already sent yes. the notes to Sherry, I already prepared, I already planned, I already, see? Your day will run if you communicate it properly in advance, on paper. Yeah. It says, we are all, we are what we think we are. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make our world. What yeah. world are you making? I want you to communicate the world that you're making. Sherry, back to you. Uh, why don't I toss it to Rod to say what he would like to contribute before I close yeah. it out? I would love for you to close it out today, Sherry. I only have two things. And thank you for taking. Can we blow it up for a reef in the chat? Let them know. Give them some snap snaps for those of you that don't have your cameras on. We'd love to see you. This is what creates the energy and the environment in here. Arif and I have done this with hundreds of people. And I don't know if you guys know, when we have hundreds of people, which we will, my Zoom account holds 500 and then we'll upgrade. But for now, the number's 500. And Sherry, I don't know, do you know, when cameras are off and you have 500 people or even 100, they move all the people that don't have cameras to the back. It'll go page one, page two, page three. Now I want to ask you, and again, this isn't calling you out or calling you forward. We, we allow some of you are driving to work, some of you are, but if you have access to come in for the live recording and you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, 
we talked about this. Arif mentioned the word. People do business with people they like and people they what? What's that word? Trust. I can't trust you if I can't see you. Now, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Every time I do this to me, all of a sudden cameras start popping on. I'm like, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Leave your camera off. But Arif, I'm excited for what's happening because you just talked about planning your day. Today started last night. My week started. Join me every morning on this show. This was 20 minutes of mindset programming on Thursday, September 14, 2023. I'm Arif Gilani. This is the Ministry of Miracles.